Hi, this is Brian from Enlightened Speed here. Doing another quick video for our new plugin Melodramatic. And today we are simply focusing on the filters section and the scale section. Now, first up, you don't need to be running through the algorithms. They actually work in standalone. And to make this possible, there's two ways you can do it. You can either set up the reset algorithm which is the very last one. Or alternatively, you can use the pass mode, which is set up um, easy enough. Uh, set it to draw the X, make sure you're on the pass channel, put them all in, and make sure pass group is on. And because the pass mode is on, it'll disregard the algorithms. And again, you can use the pass group just to switch it on and off. So sometimes you can have the algorithms if you want, and sometimes you can get it to ignore them. Nice and easy to do. So the filters themselves are up here. And our scales are set up in the edit page. I'm just going to set the scale to chromatic to start off with. And this allows us to get a listen to what's actually happening. So let's get a quick go at this. Like in a standard acid patch of subtractor. It's just a default bass guitar patch that's been given a wee bit of a tweak. Mess it in with the filter a bit and put the LFO on. So let's randomize this first of all. See what we get. Very chromatic, as you would expect. Gonna set it to major first. Let's set it to minor. A wee bit more interesting. And it sounds like that. So that's pretty much all you need to do with the scales. It works in the same way as any other scales quantizer that you've encountered, really. Of course, we allow four different scales to be stored at any one time. And then melodramatic sequencer, of course, you can set the scales so that you've got some of them in A's, some of them in B's, etc. But that's not what we're dealing with today. Today we're mainly talking about the filters, which are all sorts of fun. So let's have all sorts of fun. I won't bother using the input ones here, because we're coming off the matrix, which is monophonic anyway. So there's not a whole lot of material that we're trying to filter down to make it more controllable. So we'll look at our output filters. We have a high pass, everything below the high pass threshold obviously gets taken out. We've got a low pass, which everything above the low pass threshold gets taken out as well. And then we have our three modes here. Uh, we've got the terminate mode, which just gets rid of them entirely. We have the fold back mode, which allows the, the notes to kind of bounce back off the threshold by an equal amount to the amount that they were over. And then there's also the wrap around, which as you would expect, it will go over the threshold and it will wrap around to the other end, basically. So if it goes over the high threshold of the low pass filter, then it will turn up at the lower threshold of the high pass filter. So then depending on which filter it is that you're moving at the time, you enrich the other end. So it's perfect for really thickening the bass line up if you're using something like the matrix sequencer. So anyway, that's about it. Let's have a play around with this. Thank you. 
And we'll stop it there for now. As you can no doubt hear, you get excellent results. And it's very, very easy to deal with. It works on the same principles as an audio filter, but it's doing it on the notes instead. It's very noticeable, of course, that when you change the modes, there's no issues with clicks and pops as you're changing the bandwidth as you would get on an audio filter. So it's a really cool trick for getting around some of those kind of issues. So that's us for this video. We'll be doing another quick tips video soon just to cover the scales in a wee bit more detail using the sequencer. But for now, have fun, stay safe, and thanks for watching. Take care. Bye bye.